some days when you get that pump, it just takes you to a different level, you know? You feel like you could just go for days. You have some of those days you're like, dude, I won't get tired today. There are some days, dude, it just never lets up. You know that feeling? Like It's almost like when you catch your second wind in a workout, like the very first few exercises, the very beginning of the workout, you wait till that thing triggers in your brain, and then it's almost like you get your hooves in, and then you're just able to just get after it, dude. But one thing, once that starts happening, I just basically don't let up. Full court press, and I just push it, push it. And everyone's always like, Dude, supersets aren't optimal for hypertrophy. According to the NHIB DVVZD, she ranked number uh, nine amongst all tricep exercises, so there's definitely more optimal. Shut up. Shut up. Just lift. All right, you know what? I don't got a pump. We'll see how it's looking. I mean, I won't be able to see it, but you guys will. Kind of sad when you don't have a pump, dude. Like, you just kind of feel like a a little bit of a loser. All right, let's get after it. Oh yeah, this is perfect. I know what you jabronis are like. Three to five minutes of rest. Screw that, dude. I will superset the same muscle. And the only reason why I'm doing this exercise is because I don't feel like moving the damn tripod. Just some kickbacks, baby. These are all right. I'm actually a huge fan if you don't have a lot of equipment. <sighs> actually, these hurt like a bitch. The key is to really like take your elbows and tuck them back. Like you should feel contraction along your back and then just flex your elbow, bend it, and it's tough to get even a full range of motion. That's it. We're calling it. Wow. I'll always superset the same muscle, mainly because like it's, you're just targeting the hell out of it. It hurts like really, really bad. You have to build up your gas tank into something that can sustain a superset on the same exact muscle, but it's just so damn efficient. I mean, I'm in and out of the gym less than an hour, call it. The only time I'm there longer is if I'm running a, an experiment. Definitely G14 classified, but there might be a time where I let you guys in on some of these experiments. Next up, okay, baby. And I try not to take ample amounts of rest. It depends on what the exercise is. But like in my head, like I'm trying to hammer out these triceps a little bit. I might as well. Even if it's uncomfortable. Oh, ah. I'm gassed. Ah. Fuck it, we're going for it. Ah. Superset time. You know, actually, I kind of want to move this and show you guys this nasty superset I came about. I'll try to show you what it's about. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Eh, worst scenario, you don't. What I do is I'll take this dumbbell. And it's because when I superset, like, a lot of people tell you to do dumbass supersets, dude. Where it's like superset cables with bench. Like, dude, in what world are you getting inside a gym and being able to do those two things? Realistically, they're occupied. What I like about this is there's dumbbells on every gym. They're usually pretty loaded up. There's a bench, so if you catch a bench, this is a very, very easy one to do along with the kickbacks. Uh, this is where most people quit. This is where you double down. But I, this is where I try to really sink in deep on the stretch. That's it, dude. That's sloppy. Also, don't think it's a bad idea to get sloppy on those last reps because realistically, that's going to do more for me than me being like, well, I can't get a perfect rep. Obviously, there's nuance. Don't hurt yourself. Actually, that's something I'm so sick and tired of doing. I caught myself doing it the other day. I never used to do it. 
but always explain the, you know, like the exceptions. Use common sense. If I'm telling you something, obviously my goal is for you to work out and not hurt yourself. I think that's all of our goals, right? We want to get in phenomenal shape. I'd rather not be in a hospital bed. But I feel like everyone's like, well, you know, technically there's, you know, there's special cases. And it's like, just why am I talking this way? Screw that shit. We all know what I mean. Especially like on the last reps. Now I get to continue on with my original point. But those last reps, just if you know in your head, like I would have dropped this weight prior, that's all extra credit. Just try to sink in the line. Like what I probably should have done there is come down a little bit slower, but I tapped like a loser. So next set, I'm going to have to get after it. Also, obviously these rest times aren't very long, but I like to do that sometimes to mix it up. Some days, you know, I basically gauge on what I want to do least. So on days I don't want to lift very heavy are days I try to lift the heaviest. And on days where it's like, I don't feel like doing a bunch of reps and using a gas tank. Those are days I'll kind of lean in on those things. Although typically I have a, a certain framework I follow with my workouts that I found is just, it's OP, it gives you everything. Strength, muscle growth, even endurance, mobility of course, but it's all, I, I don't believe like, that's one thing that's kind of nuts is you hear people talk about mobility and then they talk about muscle growth and they talk about strength training. Like, why not combine all three? Like, have you guys ever noticed like the mobility guys are really into yoga or like the girls, you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like about deep breaths and that's all they do. Uh, like hot yoga, Bikram or whatever, hot Pilates. And then you have the muscle meatheads who refuse to do anything outside of nine sets of a specific muscle group per week because that's what their favorite study told them. And then you have strength body bar, strength trainers, right? Our power lifters, that's what they're called. And then you have power lifters who will take legit Tupperwares inside the gym and do maybe three reps total in three hours. Like there's got to be something that just takes all of these amazing factors. Like each one has its own unique advantage. How do you almost max out the biggest advantages of those things and then add it to your style of doing stuff? That's kind of what I've done. And in my head, it's like I'm strong enough to where I'm very, very happy. I'm mobile enough to where I'm very, very happy. You know, like I'm able to go play sports and I don't feel like a stiff, you know, animal where I used to because I was like, oh, dude, I just want to put on muscle and get jacked and stuff. Like, it's all part of the equation, but I don't know. What do you want out of your life? And then just it's easier to kind of let your intuition walk you to what you should be doing. All right, last one. That was too much rest, but whatever. <laughs> That'll work. I was going to add more weight. Actually, that is something I do. So if I ever take an extra long period of rest, uh, I will bump up the weight. And it's kind of like a punishment. or Not punishment necessarily, but that kind of sounded weird. But essentially, it's like a compromise you have to make. It's, it's a deal, you know? Oh, you wanna take the extra rest time? You wanna take the extra rest time? Okay, let's bump up the weight then. And I kinda like doing it that way because you can either go lighter and go fast or go heavier and wait a little bit longer. Still, like that was a bit long of a rest period for me, but screw it, we'll test it out right now. Whoa. With the death grip, baby. I tend to curl my toes when I do it just because it, I don't know, I just feels like a gorilla. No one's downstairs. No, oh, thank you. Not taking that risk. I was going to show you guys another superset, but I don't know how to aim this damn tripod, if I'm being honest, dude. I don't know. Nor do I want to know, but I'm going to have to learn it. You know what we could do? These are decent themselves. Like, this is way too heavy for me, realistically. Off a of superset. But it forces you to figure it out. Even if I'm only getting two, three reps, I don't care. Figure it out. Yeah, it sucks. It's crazy how just a little bit of rest time can get you that much more fresh. 
the head, I'm not really focused solely on muscle growth. Of course, it's a part of the equation, but that's relatively simple, you know? At the end of the day, I'm here to figure out how much and how far I can go with my body. This game is self-realization more than it is health. Health's just a side effect. Being strong is a side effect, but to understand what you're capable of, the only way to actually know that is by going to a place mentally that no one else is willing to go. People talk about fulfilling potential like it's some sexy journey. It's not healthy. Being obsessed is not a healthy endeavor, but it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. But you just do what's natural to you. I just did there, by the way, as I kept flipping from left to right, even though you saw me, I just kept failing and failing. Your human biology is so cool that it'll figure it out. Like eventually, if I just kept doing that, I'll probably end up tricep extending this weight. Easy. You know, like, just depends on what you want. You just have to put your body under that stress and then your body adapts. The question is, is how do you do them all? And then how do you do them all without it being your entire life? That's a little bit more of a difficult equation to do, but that's everything I've been optimizing for. See, I'll use that word, I'm not against it. But part of it is too, is I'm always gonna show you superset because I've always supersetted. I always supersetted and notice then was like, well, I don't think I'm supersetting this correctly. And then there's an art to it. It's a legit art form, you know, because you really are compressing time. Like you're getting so much per minute inside the gym when you do it correctly. What do I want to be doing here? I want to hit four reps on this way. I've never been able to do it before. Those are just fun metrics for me to do. Or like I've been in this set for feels like two and a half minutes. Those are good metrics. You know, it's a game of, you know, how intense can you go? but for how long? Naturally, I'm just an intense dude in terms of like being able to just dive in deep and just go fucking get after it. But I'd fizzle out because I was never doing things that were actually aligned with what the hell I wanted. I was always playing the game under other people's standards and screw that. That's part of being the natural man, right? Like that's why I would never take steroids. I would never do any of that bullshit. It's the dumbest thing ever. The whole point of this is to figure out what am I actually capable of? You know, what is it that I genuinely can accomplish? And like by doing that, you're just trying to shortcut and it's the dumbest thing you could pot. You're robbing yourself is what you're doing. And listen, everyone teaches their own. There's some bodybuilders that want to do that and be on the biggest stage. Different ball game, of course. But no matter what, that's why I always talk about it. Like for me, I was always a natural at certain stuff. And people are like, man, you're talented. You have potential. And my head was like, well, I have to pick one thing because this is how I grew up. It was like, well, what is it you're going to do for the rest of your life? And you're like, dog, I'm like 17. I don't know how this shit works. And then you're like, well, I have my answer. You'd have a new answer every three days, you know, and it's just BS until something clicks in your head. And then you realize, like, I have to follow my intuition, even if it takes me into the fire and I burn myself. You know, at least you learn. And now you at least understand that I don't like this because I've experienced this and I have an idea that this is not for me. Now you're on the road. But the game has always and will always be in terms of guys who want to reach the pinnacle of anything. It's a game purely of your own standard and being just having a morbid curiosity to figuring out how far you can actually take this thing. For me, what the hell else am I here to do? Everything else is pretty boring to me. But to see how far I can take it, regardless of what avenue can be just in the gym. But these are all little microcosms of the bigger picture. You know, we have a finite amount of time here on earth. And for me, I just want to see how far I can take it. I want to be proud of what I leave behind. I want to be proud of the family that I built and, you know, the family that I have. You know, I, that's all for me that matters. To give them everything they've ever wanted. And I'm cool, man. If, how do you say this thing? Keep them, I'm new to YouTube. But how do you say a thing that's like follow, subscribe, you know, like they say all that stuff. Um, yeah, if you like the channel, please subscribe and, you know, join. I mean, this is, if you have, if you like anything that I just talked about, there'll be plenty more of it. Regardless, I appreciate you watching. I hope this was well worth your time. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.